Number 11. Goliath Bird Eater Spiders are among the animal kingdom's most captivating hunters, particularly when considering the vast variety of techniques they employ. Depending on the species, they trap prey in suspended webs, hunt on the ground, ambush prey by jumping, hide in flowers, or use trapdoors. The latter is a technique involving a hole in the ground and a dirt door suspended with silk. Yet, if sheer dominance is the criteria, the Goliath Bird Eater is the most adequate example of spider hunting prowess. This tarantula species has a leg span of up to 12 inches. True to its name, it's the largest spider in the world in terms of mass, weighing up to 7 ounces. While that's giant by spider standards, it's still only slightly heavier than a baseball. Despite being called Bird Eater, this arachnid rarely preys on birds. Instead, the spider prefers to use its size to overpower various insects and terrestrial vertebrates. The prey animal is dragged to the Goliath bird eater's burrow, where the spider liquefies its insides and proceeds to suck it dry. The tarantula's fangs are large enough to puncture human skin, but the venom is generally harmless, and the pain of a bite is reportedly comparable to a wasp sting. Number 10. Hunting Dogs while most hunters opt for larger dog breeds as companions, like bloodhounds or Labrador retrievers, there are a few smaller dogs that are relentless when tracking down and tackling prey. Jack Russell Terriers, for example, are sturdy, tough, and tenacious. They seem to have almost endless energy reserves and are ideal for hunting rabbits or even chasing down foxes. Judging by the beagle's small size and short legs, one would be inclined to assume this breed isn't suitable for hunting. However, its sense of smell is outstanding and the dog can be used while hunting animals up to the size of small deer. Even some Pomeranian variations can be ruthless and have been observed killing muskrats as well as other smaller mammals. Number 9. Asian Giant Hornet The Asian Giant Hornet is the bane of western honeybees found in its natural habitat. One or a few scouts will typically go out to locate a hive. They release pheromones that let the others know where the ambush is to take place. Once the attack unfolds, there's little that the honeybees can do to oppose the mighty hornets. These creatures are heavily armored and significantly larger. They'll use their massive mandibles to decapitate honeybees, with a single hornet capable of killing dozens of honeybees per minute. Within a few hours, less than 50 hornets can exterminate a colony numbering tens of thousands of bees. They'll use the adults' larvae and pupae as food for their own larvae. Number 8. Assassin Bug Assassin bugs have several features that make them outstanding predators, even when taking on much larger prey. Through their long rostrum, they'll inject saliva into their victims. The saliva contains enzymes that liquefy the prey's insides, enabling the assassin bug to suck out and digest nutritional material. Some species of areas covered in minuscule hairs that allow them to hold on to their victims during the feeding process. Younger bugs, called nymphs, are known to actively camouflage themselves in the remains of dead prey insects. An assassin bug species, commonly referred to as the masked hunter, is known to use dust as camouflage. In some regions, humans regard their hunting as beneficial because assassin bugs will feed on bed bugs or cockroaches. Number 7. Shrew Shrews bear some resemblance to mice, but these insectivores are actually much closer relatives of hedgehogs and moles. One species, the Etrusian shrew, is the world's smallest terrestrial mammal. Even though they have poor vision, the shrew's senses of hearing and smell are very well developed. They own an incredibly high metabolism, which perhaps explains the rather vicious disposition these creatures constantly have to feed. It's what sometimes leads them to pursue animals almost twice their size, like frogs or mice. They normally kill by crushing the base of the skull, but some species are also known to deliver venom. This, however, isn't done through fangs, but via grooves in their teeth. The venom is surprisingly potent, considering its mammalian origin. In a laboratory setting, contents extracted from the venom glands of the American short-tailed shrew were strong enough to kill 200 mice. Number 6. Snapping Shrimp It sounds rather counterintuitive, that a creature which only grows to be about two inches long can be as loud as a sperm whale. But that is true of the snapping shrimp. In fact, these animals are an active competitor for the title of loudest animal in the sea, 
When grouped in colonies, they can tamper with sonar and underwater communication. The largest of the shrimp's asymmetrical claws is capable of producing a loud snapping sound. It's correspondent to 218 decibels, which is louder than both a space shuttle launch and the eruption of the Krakatoa volcano. The sudden snap creates a cavitation bubble, released at speeds of up to 67 miles per hour. The pressure of the collapsing bubble is strong enough to kill small fish. This is actually one of the shrimp's preferred hunting techniques. It will lie in an obscured spot with its antennae sticking out to detect movement. The shrimp will then snap its claw and release a shot that stuns a prey, a reason why this species is also known as the pistol shrimp. Another incredible aspect is the sonoluminescence, a short burst of light produced by the cavitation bubble as it collapses. The temperature it generates is over 8,540 degrees Fahrenheit. To compare, the temperature on the surface of the sun is about 9,980 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 5. Least Weasel In spite of its small size, the least weasel is a ferocious hunter that's capable of taking on rabbits which outweigh it by up to 10 times. The weasel's long and extremely flexible body is adapted for chasing prey down tunnels, but the creature won't refrain from killing its victims in the open as well. Still, the weasel prefers to hunt undercover, as this keeps it safe from foxes and predatory birds. Number 4. Tasmanian Devil Even though the Tasmanian Devil is the world's largest carnivorous marsupial, it's still only about the size of a small dog. Regardless, this animal possesses an outstanding bite that is proportionately among the strongest of all land predatory mammals. These animals have even been observed using their jaw power to chew through metal traps. They can take on prey up to the size of a small kangaroo. The devils might have even hastened the extinction of the Tasmanian tiger by frequently preying on their joeys left alone in their dens while the parents were away hunting. The Tasmanian devil will also readily feed on carrion and will dig to forage the corpses of buried animals. Number 3. Honey Badger The honey badger is often described as nature's most fearless animal. It's the only species in the Melivora genus notorious for taking on any and all challenges, despite weighing only slightly more than a gold bar. The honey badger has the fighting conspecifics to go with its ferocious disposition. Its skin is remarkably strong and loose, particularly around the neck enabling the animal to twist freely out of predatory jaws. Both its eyes and ears are small, which is likely an adaptation that allows them to avoid taking damage while fighting. Their feet are short, powerful, and armed with very strong claws. The honey badger has been observed repelling attacks from lions or hyenas. Bites, porcupine quills, or bee stings rarely penetrate their skin. They're immune to black mamba or king cobra venom and will readily prey on a number of venomous snakes. In fact, because of their remarkable adaptations, honey badgers will prey on virtually anything, having one of the least specialized diets in the animal kingdom. Aside from bulbs, berries, honey, and roots, they'll eat lizards, turtles, tortoises, birds, eggs, termites, and basically any kind of mammalian meat. Number 2. Black-Footed Cat The black-footed cat, Africa's smallest wild feline, is a more effective hunter than lions, leopards, or cheetahs. Males rarely exceed six pounds, meaning they're lighter than the average brick. Even so, this animal is a prolific nocturnal predator that mainly goes after birds or rodents, but which may also take on the heavier cape here. In 1993, a male and female black-footed cat were followed for 622 hours, and the observations revealed their outstanding hunting efficiency. They'd catch a vertebrate every hour, and would kill more than a dozen small animals every night. Shrews and rodents were killed with a swift bite to the neck or head and consumed in their entirety. Birds were stalked, pounced on, and brought to the ground. Some researchers have placed the black-footed cat's successful hunting rate at 60%, more than double that of lions. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Number 1. Dragonfly The dragonfly is by all accounts the most effective hunter on the planet. Researchers at Harvard University have found that these creatures catch up to 90% of the prey they chase. Their complex eyes are adapted to detect black spots against the sky, while their wings, powered by individual muscles that work together, allow for extreme agility and acceleration. 
they can fly in any direction and are also deaf to change in direction suddenly. However, the true secret of the dragonfly's hunting prowess is its brain, which employs a highly optimized hunting technique. The insect can actually predict where prey is going to be and thus commands the appropriate muscles to make the interception. It's a strategy successfully applied to hunting flies, moths, bees, mosquitoes, and even other dragonflies. Thanks for watching. Would you rather wake up to find a tarantula on your chest or a honey badger in your bathroom? Let us know in the comments section below.